Enzymes are the workhorse molecules of life that underpin almost every biological process. They may now have a new role as intelligent nanomotors with applications in medicine, engineering, and other fields. According to an article in the Journal of the American Chemical Society written by Ayushman Sen and Peter Butler, single molecules of common enzymes can generate enough force to cause movement in specific directions. This is ACS Breakthrough Science, research in the news. So the, the goal of, of nanotechnology and microfluidics is really to shrink a lot of these systems, the separation and detection, down to a single chip. You could have the entire uh, features of a lab, the separation and the detection, in a small device that you could put in your backpack. A nano means one billionth of a meter, it's very small, so that's the scale that we're talking about. Many diseases like influenza, like malaria, like other diseases, um, have markers that are on the molecular scale. If we can detect these markers, we can detect uh, infection by those diseases. By observing that, we can now take that observation and uh, try to design a system or a mechanism for doing useful work. The, the idea of a nanomotor is essentially an analogy of a real motor that requires fuel and does work. So in, an, in a nanomotor, the, because the scale is so small, the, the motor, or the enzyme in this case, can't carry its own fuel. So um, it uses the substrate around it to, uh, as fuel. When it does this, it generates force, and that's why we call it a nanomotor. It's essentially as simple as that. It's, it's a motor operating on the nanoscale. The, the substrate is the thing that you want to break down and the enzyme is what causes it to break down. The simplest way to think about it is that um, once the enzyme binds to the substrate, it makes a, uh, whatever that reaction was going to be happen much faster than it would without the enzyme. And I think is what is really interesting is that we have this fundamental observation about what happens to enzymes. They generate force and get enhanced diffusion. But there is a lot of work to be done. Um, there, uh, knowing exactly where the force is coming from and why it's occurring is still a mystery. So I think there are two main things that uh, excite me about the work. Um, because we're working with enzymes and there's so many different kinds of enzymes that we potentially could use, this discovery opens up the idea of using useful work and gives us much more flexibility with the types of molecules we can use and the types of fuel that we can use. There's also a, a fundamental um, kind of cell biology and chemistry reason for this, that um, this is so interesting, is that it hadn't been suspected before that enzymes can generate force. So if, if they can, then this opens up a whole new area of understanding cell biology and the interaction of force and biology.